What's going on? I'm Larry Hoover Jr. and I'm rocking with Street Certified News. Yo, it's your boy El Hitter, Mr. All Yeah. Y'all already know what it is, man. I'm rocking with Street Certified News. We got behind the scenes, man. We're gonna tie this bitch up. What up, this your boy Bum J. We rocking with Street Certified News. He's that great. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy Enrique El Grappo, man. Street Certified News. And we back with another one. First, man, want to shout out, you know what I'm saying, everybody who been rocking with the channel, man. We continue, you know what I'm saying, been going up like thousands of subscribers, you know what I'm saying, like every month. So that's dope. You know what I mean? We had a lot of support for our last video. We did a, a video on the boy uh, Tay600, a.k.a. Tay Capone. And we had a lot of support for the video, man. Shout out everybody who rocked with it. We also had some people who felt that maybe, you know what I mean, we got a little bit too personal with bro uh, and coverage of, you know what I'm saying, everything that's been, been going on with him. When the video came out that day, we spoke with bro. We just want to let everybody know because a lot of people was, you know, they were saying like, hey, you know, if you did this out in the public, then, you know, don't just do a little quick thing. You know what I'm saying? Let motherfuckers know what's up. So. You know that's what we doing man so man hey we 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 got in contact with the boy take upon after the whole video uh we let him know man we don't hate him we offer any apologies if he took it as some sort of personal attack against him you know what i mean and we wanted to let tay know man hey don't nobody hate you you know what i mean we we covered the, the, the rat topic we covered some other shit about bro and we stand by everything that we covered man we don't hate Tay Capone we don't hate Tay 600 man so hey that's that this week man as as you already see you done already read the title man we gonna give you guys a pretty big update on you know what I'm saying the FBG Doug murder slash Oblock Rico trial so you're really already starting to see a picture of you know who the feds are placing blame on and you know the fed story of events and how it went down again all these things are alleged by the fbi some of these uh accounts are backed up by witnesses you know what i'm saying but it really would seem that the fbi is placing blame solely on the boy king von and d thing and it also seems that even though certain witnesses did bring up uh Lil dirt in the beef uh they brought up his name it seems that you know the FBI have clear little Dirk and he won't be facing any, you know what I'm saying, superseding charges or nothing like that. It seems that it got as high as about D thing, and that's what the feds are alleging, man. Uh so this week, man, we're gonna break down, you know, exactly how the feds laid out, how D thing and King Von, man, really planned and funded uh the, the tragic murder of FBG Doug, man. Hey, it's your boy Amish Grapple, man. Let's get right into it. On July 10th, 2020, rising Chicago rapper FBG Duck dropped his last single ever, Dead Bitches. In the song, FBG Duck would diss a number of dead O-Block gang members, while also mocking those who were still alive for their loss. Only months after vowing to no longer diss dead rivals, FBG Duck on that summer day in 2020 unknowingly sealed his own fate. In FBI documents, it is stated by Chicago gang members both speaking with law enforcement and through intercepted text messages that Vaughn had money on Duck. The FBI alleges following the release of Dead Bitches, O-Block, D-Thang, and King Vaughn doubled the bounty on FBG Duck to $100,000. About like a week ago, man, you know what I'm saying, we broke the story about D-Thang uh, and how his baby mother may be called to testify. The FBI seems to have evidence that ralph turpin aka thf tz did get in contact with a cell phone number um that number happens to be registered to d things baby mama she's planning to testify that uh that he's the main user of that number day by day during the trial the feds are painting a picture that you had this rapper king von who um had put initially a fifty thousand dollar bounty on uh fbg duck's head now following the release of dead bitches and really just the overall growth of fbg duck as a rapper king von would then double that to a hundred thousand dollars now the evidence that the fbi is is putting forth and what they're alleging is that it was not king von alone and that d thing who really was the de facto head of otf records you know 
Based off the information provided by Oblock cooperators, the federal government alleges word was now spread to those associated with the BDs and Oblock that information or the location of FBG Duck would be well worth it. This would explain the frantic nature of Ralph Turpin, aka THF TZ, when he saw FBG Duck shopping that day. He was frantically trying to get in touch with D-Thing, which by now we know he did. 15 minutes after that phone call, the FBI alleges that six men would be seen running to their vehicles rushing downtown, while D-Thing would message back to TZ that people were on their way. It would also be alleged that D-Thing asked TZ to provide what kind of vehicle Duck was traveling in. In 2018, less than a year after being released from prison, Dave Al Bennett, aka King Von, would be signed to OTF by then acting president D Thing. Although King Von's breakout single would eventually be uploaded by his label boss Lil Dirk, by this time Lil Dirk had relocated to Atlanta, Georgia, to distance himself from the day to day streets of Chicago. In his absence, D Thing would serve as the de facto street boss of OTF. And with his signing of King Von, the feds allude that D Thing would bring Oblock under his leadership. There was another rumor that's really been going around that I mean, I really want to get my take on it. Some people, you know, they may be upset by me saying this, but um, you know, I see a lot of people going back and forth over, you know, these Oblock chains. Um, the FBI alleged that these chains were purchased as a reward for Oblock killing FBG Duck. You know, they show the purchase, they show the dates of when it when the chains are being purchased, and it all coincides with, you know, right after Doug is dead, here comes these chains. Followed by, you know, uh the infamous social media video where he's passing out money and people in Oblock got stacks of money. All of that shit happens like literally like about a week after FBG Doug was dead. To further elaborate on the chains, like I said, there's a lot of rumors about well, did he order them for that or did he already have them come in and the FBI, they show it in the documents, uh, in the Ligon's paperwork. Every person who was a shooter, who was a alleged shooter of FBG Duck, they got an O Block chain. And not only did they get an O Block chain, their names were inscribed on the back of the O Block chain to personalize it. It will likely come out later in the trial of the O Block Six that the feds originally began building the case on not only those members in O Block, but OTF and Lil Dirt. Following the murder of FBG Duck, federal agents would occasionally follow targets, obtain just signatures on wiretaps, and some say would even be present in Atlanta, Georgia, November of that same year when King Von was shot and killed. Although agents did not intervene, their account of the events behind closed doors may have contributed to the charges against Bennett's killer eventually being dropped. Only eight months later, Dante Banks, aka D Thing, would be shot and killed while exiting a popular Chicago strip club, Club O, in the south suburb of Harvey, Illinois. Described as a chaotic scene, Banks would die during a hail of gunfire from multiple shooters. And although police were present and multiple firearms would be recovered on the scene, no one would be arrested for the slaying. Chicago authorities would later claim a shooting death just hours later may have been in retaliation of D-Thing's murder. Following the death of D-Thing, the FBI had now lost two potential suspects in the murder of FBG Duck. Looking to close the investigation without further bloodshed, federal agents would arrest the five suspected shooters already having evidence to prove that King Von and D-Thing planned, funded, and carried out the murder of Duck with no evidence of communication with Lil Dirt or any others in the OTF camp. Man, appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. Like I said, man, it's your boy, Emrex El Grappo, Street Certified News, man. The street's most reputable source for urban media, bro. Like, we really did our due diligence on this when I took my time. And it really looks like even even if, you know, we're going to predict into the future, man, every day the trial is going to blame King Von more, it's going to implicate D-Thing more, and it's going to separate Lil Dirk more and more. This is something the FBI already knew, you know, before they got their case going. And this is probably why you see Lil Dirk moving around, you know what I'm saying, continuing to get his bread because, he you know, they got him clear, man. He out of the loop. He ain't got nothing to do with it, man. You know what I'm saying? It just so happens that the two people that planned it, that could have connected them, you know, they no longer living, man. So, hey, 
Again, man, it's your boy MXL Grapple, man. Street certified news. We out.